Hello everyone, welcome to our Instagram live. I'm Ali Jeng, art advisor here at Whitestone Gallery. And today I'm here with Stephanie Wu, our digital coordinator. And both of us today, we're gonna take you to Taipei and have a look at our Tiyoshi Maikawa solo exhibition. So, but before we start, we think it's great for us to take a few minutes and to let a more audience to come in. So uh, maybe we can have a little chit chat sure. first. <laughs> so hi, Stephanie, welcome. Thank you for inviting me today. Yeah, I know this is your first time here in our Taipei space. How do you like it? It's really beautiful. And um, since I always work behind the scenes, I don't really look at the actual gallery. So mm. maybe you can uh, sort of introduce me to who the architect of the uh, entrance is. Oh, definitely. So uh, for those of you who haven't been to our Taipei space, uh, the first thing you would see is definitely this very remarkable wooden entrance. So this entrance is actually designed by Japanese architect Ken Gokuma who is also the main designer of 2022 Olympian Stadium mm. in Japan. So I'm very glad that I, I'm able to work here every day, you know. And I would be glad as well if I can walk <laughs> in here every day. <laughs> yeah. So um, I guess we're having more followers now. So let's have the tour. Okay, let's go. Okay, please follow me. So, uh, Let's come here to the entrance. So uh, we are very glad to be having the second solo exhibition for Tiyoshi Maikawa here in Taiwan. And Tiyoshi Maikawa was born in 1936. He was, uh, got, he was invited to the Gutai Art Association in 1962. And since then, uh, his work had been traveling and being exhibited in many major cities, uh, as well as important exhibition. One of the most important exhibition that would be Gutai Splendor Playground in 2013, held up by the Guggenheim Museum. And his work have also been in the permanent collection of many prestigious museums, such as uh, the Art Institution of Chicago and Tate Modern in London. So yeah, I can't wait to show you because this time we bought over 30 pieces of his work. Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe let's go inside. Okay. So as we are walking towards the space, we have uh, showcasing different styles of Maikawa's work. What we are looking at is pieces that are more monochrome. And we also have pieces that have a lot of uh, vibrant color. And this space we have installed work in mainly larger scales. Mm. And as we are walking into another space, we have a painting in smaller scales with vibrant color. And most of the work here are included at least three to four colors. It's very playful. I really love how the color interact yes, with each it's other. it's very beautiful. And uh, where we're heading now? So we are heading to our little Gutai history room. So what we have here is uh, work that are done from 1954 to 1972 by other Gutai members as well. And we have work that, here we have a work by the founder, Jiro Yoshihara. A really signature circle here. And we also have Kaizu Shiragas. And then, of course, we have two more Maikawas. And then next to the work, we have this huge chronology. Mm -hmm. And this chronology actually showcasing uh, the achievement uh, Gutai and Maikawa did for the past decades. So about the Gutai story, I have a very interesting uh, picture would love to show you. Please. So uh, if you look uh, close, take a closer look at these images, this is actually the exact moment 
that Michael got accepted by the Good Thai Arts Association. So the gentleman here in the middle, scratching his mm -hmm. head, was Maikawa. And next to him is uh, Yoshihara. And then they actually put the letter inside a wooden box. So everyone knew it except Maikawa. That's why he had such an, you know, confusing faces right. and expression. And here's the acceptance letter. Yeah, this is the uh, acceptance letter written by the founder, Yoshihara and also signature in his uh, very um, signature circle. Mm -hmm. So as we keep walking, we have more words by others, good time members. We have these beautiful yellow pieces by Chiyu Ue Main. Mm -hmm. And then next to it is uh, Yuko Nasaka's work. These were uh, all done before 1972. So, Shuju Mukai. And the last pieces in this room is Yasu Sumi. Well, they're all very wonderful. Um, can you tell me more about uh, Maekawa's works and composition and his use of uh, his mediums? Definitely, actually, I have uh, prepared uh, three different work that I would love to show you more. Maybe please follow me. Okay. So uh, this is the first pieces that I would like to show you. Mm. So this work is uh, untitled, although it's uh, created in 2014, but the technique and use of color is very similar to Maikawa's work in the 1960s and 70s. So what we see here is Maikawa cut the burlap and then paste them directly on the canvas and then he used like a very spontaneous method to apply the paint. What we can see here is like splashing and dripping, very free. Yes, very free. Kind of reminds me of uh, Jackson Pollock's uh, splattered paint. Yeah, we can definitely have a sense of abstract expressionism. So it's a really classic Michael painting. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, so in terms of uh, the use of color, I would love to show you another one. This is actually a rather monochrome painting. And it's also demonstrate, you know, because Maikawa was actually a design major in high school. Mm -hmm. You know, as a designer, you pay a lot of attention in structure. In Maikawa's case, it's the same. So in this work, we can see there are two, two layers. The base layer is a blank canvas painted with spray paint. And we can see there is a shape and certain ombre effect. And the uh, second layer is um, using web and burlap, sewing them together. And by combining the two layers together, it completes a uh, complete uh, square. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. it completes a square. So uh, this is also a really interesting and demonstrating how Maikawa play with different materials within the same color. Right, I really like uh, the difference between the first painting and this one. I love how this kind of is uh, blended all together. It's really nice. So there is one more work that I would love to show you. Okay. And that's uh, the work that installed in our entrance. Yes, it's a very lovely piece. <laughs> So I would say this is one of my personal favorite because of the use of color. I love the pastel palette of it. And Maikawa first sold the canvas and then stretched it. And then he would use a spray gun to paint a really thin layer of paint. So at certain part of this canvas, you can still see the white background. And I also love how two colors, you know, mixing with each other and in certain spaces, you can still see the uh, sort of like sunset event, mm -hmm. you know, for example, like the top right here with the pink and purple mixing with each other. Right. It's very dusk-like almost. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. So um, I'm glad you love the show and I'm very happy to showing our audience around as well. So maybe it's time to take some Q&A. Sure, and uh, I'll be helping out with that. So why don't we head over to the middle maybe so sure. then the audience can see more of his works. So right. maybe let's have the first question. Sure. So we have our first question. Uh, what is the reason Maikawa changed his style uh, from rough to delicate? 
Well, I think it needs to relate to his uh, true good Thai spirit. You know, as a good Thai artist, they have to create something that has never been done before. You know, in my Kawa's case, that would be keep exploring the, impos uh, the possibility of creating art by using a ma uh, different material in his case, which is burlap. Mm -hmm. You know, as you can see, he tried to use different kind of medium as well as method, you know, from uh, simply dripping to using spray gun or simply cutting out canvas to sewing canvas together. Right. So it really needs to uh, go back to his age, you know, being trained as a good Thai artist, mm -hmm. keep inspiring him to find new possibility. Wonderful. So we have our second last question. Uh, how would you describe my Kawa's style? I would say, you know, some of the work we can see uh, it's rational, mm -hmm. but some of the work you can also see it's kind of sentimental. Mm -hmm. And it's also very playful because you can see there are a lot of colors. And he also loves to play with the light and dark. So I, I'm very happy to see uh, an old master can create such vibrant and playful work. And I'm really glad that I've been invited here to see his wonderful works. Really nice. Yeah. So um, I think we should wrap up here. But before we go, so if anyone who haven't been following us on Instagram, please do. And uh, we will be having a 3D showcase soon. So you will find all the detail on our next story. So thank you guys for thank having you this all. tour thank with you, us. Ali. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.